New today, a group of elected officials now challenging Sandag's plans for the future of transportation. Sandag revealed what it called a bold new vision just a couple of weeks ago that makes mass transit a main priority when it comes to future projects. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is in Solana Beach, where some oppose the proposal, saying it puts crucial freeway repairs on the back burner. They say instead of focusing on relieving traffic congestion on major freeways like the people voted for 15 years ago, Sandag is focusing its efforts on mass transit first. Behind me, we have the expansion of the I-5 freeway. We have the double tracking of the rail corridor, and we also have the restoration of the beautiful San Alijo Lagoon. So balanced transfer transportation options can be made available for San Diego. We have to demand that we move forward with balanced options for our community. County Supervisors Kristen Gaspar and Jim Desmond, along with other elected officials, voiced their opposition to Sandag's multi-million dollar plan, proposing hundreds of miles of new high-speed transit lines through the county. They say Sandag's executive director wants to fund the vision by diverting money from a half-cent sales tax approved by voters in 2004. Prop A or Transnet made a promise to relieve traffic congestion, expand freeways and provide maintenance on local roads. The officials here argue using money from that would be a bait and switch to voters. They say the new Sandag vision abandons critical improvement needs on the 78, the 52 and the 67 and say it's also unrealistic that most people will ditch their cars and hop on mass transit. But we haven't had a lot of input from our residents. People can go to stoptransnetraid.com and voice their opinions. Also important, contact your local elected officials and let them know that a balanced transportation plan for San Diego is important for our future. A couple of weeks ago, Sandag did say that it hopes for a more green and efficient future with this new plan. I did reach out today though and did not hear back by showtime. Reporting in Solana Beach, Mimi Alcala, 10 News.